It's Bob Sansiver with TwinCities.com Web Sports producer Kevin Cusick. Vikings finally announced their staff. No surprise with North Turner. None at all. A little bit of a surprise with the special teams coordinator, even though we were hearing it, that he might be uh, retained. It's as if nothing happened. I mean, he was named for the staff. Now, you wouldn't know that after hearing from uh, Chris Thomas and did a great job talking to Clayton Hallen and the attorney, the attorney for uh, Chris Cluey, who has a few issues with Coach Prefer. And mm-hmm. you've, uh, I know you've been involved in this story. Yes, it's uh, basically, um, you know, there's two schools of thought on this. One is that they uh, kept Prefer around for the purposes of concluding the investigation and having him on board, and then if they find anything, you know, terminating him then. The other school of thought is that they believe they already have enough information that they're willing to stand behind him, and they think that the accusations either lack merit or are not strong enough to require them getting rid of him. Either way, it was certain to be controversial, and uh, right now it's the number one story on our website. Uh, a lot of reaction to uh, Clay Hallinan's uh, initial reaction which was somewhere between anger and uh, fury. Well, he called it outrageous yes. that they would retain him, and he certainly threatened legal, uh, legal action because of comments that Cluey allege Prefer said, mm-hmm. including, help me with the, the exact wording, that he, w- they should put all of them, meaning homosexuals and gays, or gays on, an island. on an island and nuke it until it glows. Something like that. that uh, it's hard to find a context in that where... It would be, you know, a backslapper, no, or and, nudge, and nudge. The, that's I'm just kidding. And also, uh, Hallen in today added to it. This is the first time I've heard this on the issue of that uh, Cluey was getting discriminated against on a religious basis because Prefer made some comments regarding uh, Cluey's belief in a god or belief in Jesus. So, well, he called, so he was an atheist. That was the allegation. Basically. And that somehow he was being discriminated against for that also. So again, as we keep going on in this story, more gets more bits get added to it almost by the week. Well, what is? Uh, I'm sure Mike Zimmer had no idea that he probably was excited to announce his staff. North Turner, there kept George Stewart, the wide receiver, and, and, and all call. the children, and the, the children, and uh, Turner's children. kid, Scott Turner, and uh, he's going to be the quarterbacks coach. And you've got uh, Adam Zimmer will be the linebacker coach. You got Gary Kubiak's son, Clint, is going to uh, he's going to work with uh, with wide receivers. He's going to help George Stewart, I believe. So, and Stewart was a good pick. that was good for them to do mm-hmm. to keep him. Also, keeping the offensive uh, line coach. Uh, so they've done – it's a good staff they've assembled, but it's been overshadowed by this. Completely overshadowed. Yeah. But whenever they announced it, it was going to happen. You know, sure. I, I, I don't know if I should be surprised or just say, well, that's, this is the way it happens, that, that uh, they did not take Prefer out of the spot. But as you, they can take him out of it at some point. But it's uh, – I think it's going to be – it's just got a lot more interesting. I, I think the chances of this winding up in litigation – Went up about tenfold today. I don't think. I don't think this is going to be a thing where Cluey's not looking to settle and go away. No. I think he wants to. Uh, it certainly gives the appearance when you're threatening litigation and that he wants this to have a, his public forum. This is going to be almost certainly a wrongful termination lawsuit based on you know discrimination, both for his political views and his religious views, and how long that this goes on. This could be in the courts. You know, many well, many months. You're right because it's it's not often you which get which is good for us. It gives us you know, something. It's to, not often you get them both in in the same uh, lawsuit. Sure, it gives us something to chat about besides the uh, the free agency of Matt Castle or which, how uh, how good a game Percy Harvin had as somewhat predicted here. I did who? say he'd be the MVP. Who? He was not the MVP, so I was wrong. But he didn't do too shabby either. I had said in the podcast last week that it was Peyton Manning's year. I was wrong. 2013. It turns out it was Peyton Manning's year. It now being 2014, definitely not Well, Peyton Manning's year. If you're point. just looking regular season, it was a heck of a regular season. Sure. If you're Greatest throwing, yeah. statistically ever. Who would ever remember the Super Bowl, though? No one. People don't remember I believe that. I also said that Seattle defense was overrated and was nowhere near the 85 Bears or the 2000 Ravens. Um, they did allow a touchdown. They did allow a touchdown, but they were approximately one and a half steps faster than the Broncos at every position Sunday. It was about as bad a uh, butt-kicking in a Super Bowl as we've seen for a couple decades. Now, 
At least going back to Tampa Bay. Oakland. And uh, and keep this in mind. Seattle pulled back the throttle. It's like when you have a boat and you have the throttle all the way forward, they put it into idle. Imagine in if Seattle's of offense quarter. started quickly. It's, remember how slow it started. Yeah. They had to settle for field goals the first couple of times. This could have been a just a nuclear. You know, the Broncos basically were put out on an island and nuked until they glowed. And that was in the first half. And on that note, always a pleasure talking to you, Kevin. I like how I tie it all together. Uh, you're unbelievable that way. Circle of life. And uh, once again, we'd like to thank C.J. Sinner, who is behind the camera. She's our director, our producer, our lighting person. Literally ran here to do the podcast today. She's our... Uh, you wouldn't be... Now, let me ask you this, Kevin, because you do movies too. C.J., you can chime in. If it's a woman doing it, do they call him the best boy? I still don't know what that is in filmmaking. Or would it be the best gal? Or the grip. Or the grip. Is the grip the same as the best boy? I don't know. I don't either. CJ? I've got no idea. We need to find that out for next week. But at least segment. we got her to speak. We did. She no longer is doing, <laughs> she's no longer doing a mime or Harpo Marks. She gets paid more now for it. She gets scale. <laughs> we'll talk to you next week about the Vikings. Possibly. Hit the button. I'll keep going.